Hey guys, welcome to this week's edition of the After Effects tutorial edition. Uh, okay, so this week we're gonna check out the Fire Hand tutorial, which is this one from X Men Second Class, of course. All right, very simple but pretty cool, pretty cool. So let's get on to it. Uh, take your footage, drop into new composition. All right, this is fine. First thing we need to do is track it. So make a new null object, name it tracker. Uh, go to track motion and find a point. So I think around here would be cool. Hit the analyze button, let it track. Keep an eye on it so you know, it doesn't go too far off. Seems to be working pretty well right now. Alright, click apply. And your tracker should appear attached as you can see here. Alright, next put in our stock footage. Uh, this is from detonationfilms.com dot, dot something, but yeah, this is basically the stock footage you're gonna be using. Uh, cut off the first frame frame of course. Flame frame. So let's just use from find a good point. Yeah, yeah around here seems to be cool. So trim it, alt, open bracket, line it up, set blending mode to uh, multi no, no, multiply, add, move it in place, actually around here would be better, so alt begin bracket, move it up, line it up, and then parent it to the tracker. If you don't see it, you might have to press this button here. Now you can see the flame sticks to the hand. Maybe a bit here, maybe scale it up a bit, make it a bit bigger. Looks pretty lame right now, so we're gonna add some glow. Control D, duplicate. Go to fast blur once my computer starts lagging. Okay, fast blur. Drop that in. Pump it all the way up. Maybe change the blend. No, sorry, we don't want to do that. Well, the glow is very faint right now, but it's there. And that's not very effective. So, what I originally did in the X-Men video is I did an adjustment there. Uh, add some glow onto the adjustment there. And then we want something uh, red and orangey, I guess. But we need to mask it out as well, so it's just the area around the flame. Feather the mask out a bit. I'll set this to uh, A and B colors and not original colors, so it yeah, matches the flame color. Radius, turn it up. Intensity, uh, yeah, intensity should be fine. Like that. And that looks pretty good for the most part. Uh, another thing is the flame looks a little too sharp, so we're gonna go back and kind of blur it out a bit as well. So fast blur, uh, maybe one pixel. Yeah, that looks good. <coughs> so yeah, all I need to do next is probably uh, add a color correction. I use a plugin called. Uh, Mojo from Magic Bullet, I think. And yeah, that's about it, guys. 
you can play around with the uh, with the glow a little bit just to you know maybe change the color a bit more redder a bit more orangey we put the threshold down a bit intensity up radius Maybe an orange color would look better. Let's see how that looks. One more thing you can do to uh, improve this effect a bit is to add some uh, heat distortion. Uh, I did that in the original clip. And I explained how to do it last week in the displacement map tutorial, but uh, I'm just gonna try and do it really quickly here. Make a composite new solid, make it red, this is fine. Go to CC Particle World. I'm gonna make some particles going up, so this is wrong. We need to go with physics, gravity goes up, and then change the uh, particle type to probably a uh, shaded sphere. Shaded sphere, yeah, that's cool. And change the uh, birth rate. Well, you can put it, you know. Uh, near the hand. Uh, mess with the gravity a little bit more so it just goes completely straight up. And then for the colors, we want a custom color. Go to that, just go full on red. So we need to pre-comp this layer, composition, sorry, layer, pre-compose, um, all attributes, distortion map. Then go to adjustment layer, make a new adjustment layer, type in displacement map, put it in, make the distortion map, and then of course we want to get rid of this as you can see the distortion is here but then we need to mask out the edge so maybe about here oops sorry and it's a little uh, too much so we're gonna go into the map and uh, particle should be actually a bit bigger and actually not so much One point five and one point five. Faded sphere is actually better, probably. Put the size variation down to zero. Probably two. two. And that looks way better. Might be a bit too much, so we just put it down to 2.5 and 2.5. Play it, Let's see how that looks. <coughs> so it just gives us kind of like a heat haze effect where the air is being affected by the flame. What am I doing? Sorry. So yeah, I guess that's about it. It's a very simple effect, but you know, it can be pretty cool. 
And uh, once again, if you have an idea for a tutorial, uh, post it in the comments. And if you need help with any of the tutorials, uh, feel free to message me and I'll try to help you out. Alright guys, peace. See you next week.